All right, so let's um, talk a little bit about measures of center. So by measures of center, the most common one that, um, that, that we use is probably the arithmetic mean. Um, so we're lo really looking at, at ways of describing maybe the middle value, the expected or average value or typical value, but some measure of data that's in the center. And the center value um, is just another way of representing a type of, of average. Um, so this measure of center is a way of describing the data in some sense. Um, so the mean um, is, is the most common method um, but there's also of course the the median the mode and um, the mid-range so um, what we do know and what we've seen is that you may have um, a basketball team with guys that are various heights and those um, your team may have an average height of six feet, mean arithmetic height, um, with one guy eight, and with four guys that are um, four feet tall. Um, so we've talked a little bit about spread around the mean. Um, so what I want to do is think about how we would get the arithmetic mean, um, the median, the mode, and the mid-range. Let's take a few minutes. Some of this is going to be review. I would hope this is review. Um, but for completion of coverage, let's talk about this. Now, um, notation. So let's um, be a little bit more formal with how we um, calculate the mean and how we represent those calculations. Um, we will use sigma notation. Um, and in this sigma, sigma notation, we're going to um, do some counting from some starting point. Um, and I'll use an index to represent that starting point to some final point. Now, this big symbol that I've drawn here is the Greek um, uppercase S. This is sigma. And this sigma is the uppercase Greek notation for S. There's also a lowercase um, sigma. That lowercase sigma is looks something like this. Um, we'll, and we'll use that for standard deviation. Um, the I that we're looking at here is called the index of summation. And the integers M and N represent the limits. Of summation. So, in a practical sense, what what do we do with with uh, with these values? Um, so, here's um, the simple um, a simple example of how you would use and interpret um, summation notation. For example, if I say that I want the sum, and I'll draw my Greek S, of values starting at placeholder i equals 4 going up until placeholder i is equal to 8. And this here can be um, any expression, and it may or may not involve i, but it's some expression. So in this case, let's just say that i, uh, or that the um, that we're going to use 
i as the uh, the parameter for this expression. The way to interpret this is that whenever I see that sigma, what it tells me is that I'm going to just simply repeat whatever is inside as its argument some number of times. So I know that there's going to be whatever this argument is repeated. And it's going to be summed together. In this case it says from 4, i is equal to 4, to 5, to 6, to 7, to 8. So we control the number of kind of items or terms in this summation, in this series, by the lower and the upper limits of the summation. So we know where to start counting and we know where to stop counting. Um, so since it is a summation, it's a sigma, we, you can see that we use addition. Um, there's also a notation that's used to represent um, the product, and it's a Greek P. We won't really see that in this class. <coughs> so given that I varies from 4 to 8, what we're looking at is I starting at 4, going to 5, going to 6, going to 7, going to 8. And if we add this together, 9 and 6 is 15, and 7 is 22, plus 8 is 30. Notice that from 4 to 8 there were 5 terms. Um, and if you start with the first or the, um, the end point minus the starting point plus 1, it will tell you the number of terms that appear in the summation. Another example using summation notation um, would be, say, let's take i from 1 to 3, and we're going to use that over its argument of 2i. So again, whenever I see the summation notation, it really just says, repeat whatever this argument is, some number of terms, and it says start from i equals 1, so we count here 1, 2, and 3, and we have the right number of terms here because it ends at 3. And if I substitute for i, its value as it progresses along the series, you should get a 2 plus a 4 plus a 6. Um, 2 plus 4 would give me the 6, plus 6 more, so we're looking at 12. Um, how about what if the what if we say use some summa summation notation um, and get the summation going from starting from i equals one to i equals four and let's say it's a constant doesn't matter if it has the um, the i variable the index um, variable inside of the expression or the um, the thing upon which we're operating, it will always be the case that we're going to repeat whatever's here some number of times. And how many times we repeat will be a function of the um, index of summation. So i equals 1, since we're told to start at 1, and we know that we're going to take i from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4, And since this is a constant um, that doesn't contain a variable, we just repeat that constant based on or as a function of or contingent upon um, the, um, the starting point and the end point of the, uh, of the index of summation. So in this case, we would calculate this to be an 8. Um, another example of using summation notation, um, let's say that it, we, we need to figure out what the summation is. 
i plus 1 going from i equals 0 to 2. So again, what I'm going to do is repeat, repeat, and I know where to start and where to stop. i is equal to 0, i is equal to 1, i is equal to 2 is the stopping point, and then let's substitute i into the terms. And for the next one, i was 1. And for this third one, i is was index of summation was 2. And so we're looking at a 1 to the 0 plus a 2 to the 1 plus a 3 to the 2, which is 1 plus 2 plus 9, or um, 9 plus 2 is 11 plus 1 is 12. Um, and finally, um, last example, um, let's say we want to go from i is equal to 1, i is equal to 3 on this expression. So again, treat this like a cookie cutter. So it'll be 3i, 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 and how many times do we write that? Well. Certainly will be the sum of it, but we'll start at i is equal to 1, i is equal to 2, and i is equal to 3. So it looks like we'll just have those three terms. Substitute um, the value of i at each point. i is equal to 1 here, i is equal to 2, and i is equal to 3. And you get a 3 plus 9 plus 27. And that would be um, 39.